And the training we do is for the counseling centers. There are 60 counseling centers for the universities in Beijing. 在北京的院大专院校里面呢，有六十个呃辅导中心，我们在那边做训练。And we'll train the counselors in those centers, and also the mental health teachers in the universities. 呃，我们在那边呃训练，就是在这些辅导中心里面的这些老师，还有做辅导的。And that's been a very very enjoyable experience. 嗯。对我们来讲是非常愉快的一个经验。We've always enjoyed the food. 当然了，我非常喜欢那边的食物。We usually eat the same food the faculty does, and the faculty is well fed. 我们在那边通常呃有一些什么样的家庭的呃问题。And what we've been examining is how family backgrounds, the family you grew up in. Affects adult functioning, or how you do as an adult. We're in this study. We're trying to understand our childhood background. What kind of impact it has on us as adults. And some of the results of that is in this document. We're trying to get out of this document. We're trying to get out of this document. We're trying to get out of this document. When the when I do training in Beijing. I share with them a curriculum that is in English and simplified that contains the principles we're looking at in our trainings on family and relationships. The universities print this in Beijing. 呃，在北京的大学里面呢，呃，把这个都呃印印刷出来。And every year I keep adding to it. 每一年呢，我继续就呃重新翻翻翻新版。Especially if I hear a funny story. 尤其是呢，我有听到什么好笑的故事。But if you would like an electronic copy of this. 如果你们要有一个电子版的话。And again, it's in English and simplified. 呃，是。Just give us an email address and we'll send it to you. It's on our website, last year's version. So if you have new version. Oh, we have a new version. Good. Just give it to me. I will distribute. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can go to the website. Yeah. And it's an area how family background affects adult functioning that I've been doing research in for close to three decades. Uh, 这是我经由将近三十年呃、uh, 做的研究结果，是我们从小生长环境到底怎么样影响我们呃成人以后的生活，还有我们的家庭生活。So this evening we'll be talking about what makes for a healthy family. 所以今天晚上我们要讲的是如何有一个健康家庭。What are the characteristics of a healthy family? And in the same way, what makes for healthy relationships? In the testing that we've done in North America and Southeast Asia, We've isolated three kinds of families. We, uh, 分分分别分辨出三种不同的家庭。Healthy families. 健康家庭。Confused or performance-based families. 呃，就是这很混淆，还有以以 performance-based perform， 就是以这个以你的这个，还以 perform， 健呃呃。表现以表现以表现为基准的家庭。Yeah, you should. You should have to work here. That's right. And finally, very unhealthy or what we call in English dysfunctional families. 呃，第三个呢，就是非常非常不健康的家庭。Now the picture on the screen. 呃，在这个屏幕上的照片。Is you see the little girl that we're holding? 
看到那个小女孩，我们抱着那个小女孩，我抱着那个小女孩。She had a birthday on Saturday, and she is 35 years of age. Ah, her birthday is this coming Saturday. No, last Saturday. Oh, okay. Last Saturday, um, 上星期六，她现在是三十五岁 And she's a lawyer now. 她现在是个律师 And the man holding her, it is I. 那个抱着这个小女孩的，就是我。I may look older than that picture. 我可能看起来比那个照片里面的人要稍微年纪大一些。And that is my wife. 呃，另外那位是我的太太。Carol. Carol. 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 And so we're going to look at these three kinds of families. 我们现在来看这三种形不同形态的家庭。First of all, we'll talk about what is a Healthy family. Next, we're going to look at what is a healthy family. And what we've discovered in our testing is that a healthy family in the United States. Uh, we're in this test. We talked about that in the United States, a healthy family in China, or a healthy family in China, or a healthy family in China, will share similar characteristics. Uh, in fact, they have the same characteristics. A performance-based family or a confused family in the United States. Uh, 就是第二种这个以以这个表现成果为为准的这些家庭，或者是呃很混淆的这样的家庭。A Caucasian American family. Uh, a Caucasian American family. Ah, 在美国这样的家庭，白人这样的家庭里面。We can have the same characteristics as a confused or performance-based family in China. Uh, 跟在中国这样家庭呃有同样的一些特征。And a very unhealthy family will have the same characteristics both in China and in the United States. 同样的不健康家庭在这两个不同的文化和地理环境里面的一些特性是一样的。But here's the striking thing. 但是现在有一点非常令人惊奇的一点是 ，the healthy family will have more influence on its child or children than the culture will have that it's within. 嗯，这个健康家庭呢，呃，这呃，它的特性呢，对他们的孩子的影响远远超过那个文化对他们的影响。Whether the healthy family is in the United States or in China. 不不不管他是在美国，在白人社会里面，还是在中国社会里面的这样的家庭。The healthy family will be able to overcome whatever the cultural influences are, because the healthy family will be more powerful than either the American culture or the Chinese culture. 就是不论家庭有什么样的问题，面对什么样的问题，一个健康的家庭呢，它能够呃去克服这些困难，远远超过这个文化所对这个家庭造成的影响和帮助。So here's the first characteristic of a healthy family. 所以呢，第一个呃这个特征是健康家庭里面的特征是。In a healthy family, people in the family trust each other. 呃，在这个健康家庭里面呢，家庭成员彼此信任对方。I was hoping that it would be cool in Berkeley. 我本来以为 Berkeley 比我来的地方要凉爽一点。Because it's very warm where I live. 很凉，很很很冷很。我住的地方非常热。But it's not. 但是，我错了。Healthy family members trust each other. Uh, 再回到我们在刚刚讲座，就是健康家庭呢，里面的成员彼此互相信任对方。When we use a word like trust, we have to say what we mean. Um, 当我们讲信任的时候，我们先要定义一下是什么意思。Trust has two characteristics to it. 呃，信任呢有两个特征。The first part of trust in a in a healthy family is they trust. That they will be met with a smile by other family members. 
、呃，第一个特征呢，就是说呃，在这个健康家庭里面呢，当他们呃有微笑的时候，就看到对方面也有回应。What that means is the family members like each other. 就是说呢，在家庭成员里面，每一个人呢，呃，喜欢对方。So the first part of trust is simply I trust that my family member will meet me with affection and a smile. Uh, so, 呢，意思就是说，呃，我信任呢，我家里面的成员，他们看到我的时候，然后都是呃很高兴看到我，很喜欢我，然后面带微笑。Like the smile on the lady in the back row there. 就像在后座这位女士现在正在微笑。She has a very pleasant smile. So the first part of trust is, is that you simply trust that, that you'll be met with affection and acceptance. So the first part of trust is that you simply trust that you'll be met with affection and acceptance. So the first part of trust is that you simply trust that you'll be met with affection and acceptance. The second part of trust is that the family members will be consistently fair and honest. 呃，第二部分呢，就是说家庭面成员呢，他的行为是非常一致的，而且非常诚实。It will be predictable within the home that the parents tell the truth to each other and to the child or the children in the home. 呃，在一个健康家庭里面呢，这个做父母亲的，他们彼此的沟通和跟他们孩子的沟通呢，都是呃彼此信任，而且是很诚实的。And the assumption is also that they can rely on the word of the other family member. If the family member says they'll do something, they do it. 另外就是说呢，呃，在这个家庭成员里面呢，你可以呃 rely on， 你可以信任说的这些家里面人讲的话呢，他是可以呃可以依靠，可以被信任的，他是会做到，说到做到的。So when a person grows up in a home like that, they normally feel quite safe. So, from this family group, they feel very secure. Because they're consistently met with a smile. 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 And what is going on in the family is reliable and consistent. In the family relationship, is the family able to be consistent and consistent? So let me ask you. Can I ask you a question? Would you prefer to be greeted like this in the morning? Uh, do you like when someone greets you in the morning? Or like this? Oh, is this or that? <laughs> In a healthy family, the family members greet each other at least with a smile. A second element. In a healthy family. Is that the parents know how to manage their own emotions? And they train their children to manage their emotions. Some cultures pretend that people don't have emotions. And if you don't have emotions, you should always go see a medical doctor. Because something is medically wrong. <laughs> the human body is designed to feel and sense desires and emotions. 呃、uh, ，我们这个人的身体呢，是被设计是有有情感而且有情绪的。So ignoring emotions or pretending emotions are not there is actually medically unsafe. 呃、uh, ，如果是呃、uh, 持续的假装我们好像是没有情绪的话，实际上是呃、uh, 
So I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to sit in the chair. You're going to be lazy. Please do so. In Chinese, please. Thank you. Oh, you mean hold it? Yes, but the child is being trained to hide. In a healthy home, it's not done that way. The parent says, Why are you angry? Explain that to me. Tell me about it. Oh, somebody threw something at you at school. And they hurt you. And you're still bothered by it. And then when you saw me, your parent, and then you were feeling irritated and you told me something unkind. Well, I'm sorry that you were hurt at school. And if it's a young child, you could say, sit here and I'll put my arm around. If it's an older child, you can just look very sympathetic. And say, I'm sorry that you were hurt. If the child is allowed to talk about why the child is angry, that anger and that hurt will go away much more quickly. But if the child is simply told, don't be angry and get that look off your face. The child may never learn how to manage anger. The first step in managing anger it's very simple. It's to tell someone about it. I'm hurt and I'm angry about this. To someone you can trust. You can't tell that to everybody. Say if you were coming home on a bus, you wouldn't tell everybody on the bus, I'm angry today. <laughs> but if you told somebody who loved you and who cared, it actually will help anger disappear. In a healthy home, the parents notice the emotions of their child and talk about those emotions and also talk about their own emotions. Now, if you say that you only, that's only done in North America, the United States, and Europe, where people talk about emotions. Uh, 
He has a whistling pocket. <laughs> the simple fact is, is that medically, if we don't observe our emotional life, it actually places a, us at risk of developing various kinds of illnesses. Uh, uh, if we don't know how to manage anxiety or anger, it will actually shorten our life. So in one sense, it's simply a question of medical health. But it's also an issue of mental health. It is or it's not. It's related. It is. It yeah, is an issue yeah. of mental health. 我们身体的健康跟我们的精神的状态的健康实际上是互相互动的,不是分开的。So in a healthy home, the parents notice, talk about, and help the child or children to manage their emotions. 所以在一个健康家里面做父母的呢 We have two children 哎, 我们有两个孩子, A girl and a boy 一个女孩, 一个男孩, You saw the picture of the girl 你看到这个女孩的照片, She's a, a, she was a young girl who could actually get angry very quickly. So we're very glad that she became a lawyer. <laughs> so she could be paid for being angry. And if I said this once to my daughter when she was growing up, I said it a thousand times. It's all right, you're angry. Okay, you have to tell me what you're angry about. And don't you insult me. <laughs> you can be angry, but don't insult me. So tell me what you're angry about. She would tell me what she's angry about. She would start crying. And then she would feel much better. What happened? She could share what was inside of her with someone who cared. She can share the hurt that caused the anger. And she discovered that by talking about it, the hurt and the anger will go away. Now she's 35 years of age. She has two children. And she'll still call me up. And she'll say, Dad, I need to cry. <laughs> so can we talk? So we'll we'll talk. <coughs> so we'll talk. She'll cry and she'll feel better. Any emotion we have will tend 
especially if, if it's a negative emotion, will tend to go away if we share it with another person. And that's what people in healthy families do. 就是在健康家庭里面呢，家庭成员呃的做法。they answer some very simple questions about their day. And I'll tell you what those questions are after dinner. Okay. Then the third is that healthy families give and receive comfort. Comfort and encouragement should never be earned. Comfort and encouragement is one of the most powerful forces in life. I've discovered something as a teacher. That students will talk to me if I'm an encouraging teacher. Students do not talk to teachers who are not encouraging. When you want to talk to somebody who is emotionally uninterested in who you are or what you do, or talk to someone who doesn't like you. Who among you likes to talk to people who don't like you? Anyone here? Would you want to talk to somebody who doesn't like you? I'd like to challenge them. No, I'm just kidding. No, no. I just shy away. Did you translate that? Oh, 你喜欢,你难道喜欢跟你,你愿意跟你不喜欢你的人交谈吗? But they'll talk to somebody who likes them. But what? The student. The student will talk to someone who likes them. And there's also encouraging. And there's also compassion. I discovered something. That it's much easier to correct a child or correct an adult if I've already encouraged them or comforted them or sympathized with them. Comfort, encourage, and what? Sympathize. Sympathize, 就是同情, 同情他们的话呢, 跟他们的沟通就会比较好。If I have comfort, encourage, and sympathize with them, 如果我安慰, 鼓励, 还有同情他们的话, I can talk to them about the mistakes they made. 我可以告诉他们, and they'll listen to me. 他们就会听我讲什么。
But if I don't comfort, if I don't encourage, if I don't have sympathy, they won't come to me. They won't share their problems. Because they'll be afraid of being criticized. And they won't have the opportunity to be helped. So here's a very simple principle. If you want to correct or coach a person, always encourage the person before you get around to coaching or correcting the person. This comfort and encouraging is a normal part of a healthy family. <coughs> I'm giving you the summary of about 25 to 30 years of research. And these elements of happy families, of what is a happy family, these three things keep showing up over and over again. A healthy family, they trust each other. They talk about their emotions. And they encourage each other. I have an exercise that I do with the counselors in Beijing. And it's called the greatest compliment exercise. And I, I find it really interesting, especially what the women will say that is the greatest compliment they've received from their parents. The women. The, the women counselors oh, will yeah. write, the, the men and women will write down the greatest compliment they've received from their parents. Oh, okay, okay. And guess what it is? The greatest compliment that shows up over and over again, particularly from women counselors in the Beijing counseling centers. Counselors. What do you think it is? The lady, yeah. What, yeah. what do you think is the greatest compliment they've been given by their parents? They look very beautiful. No! No! no. no. Here it is. You are very intelligent. <laughs> That's the one that appears the most. Then I'll ask them, how many times did your parent tell you that? Yeah. And they'll usually say once. But is it not interesting 
that they remember that basically for their whole life. Here's the second one that shows up. 第二个最常出现,这个文章里面写的得到称赞的是 And it's not, you are beautiful. 不是,你很漂亮。不是。It's not. 不是。It's, you have a lovely soul. 你是一个很可爱的人。You have a lovely heart. 你的心非常的可爱。and those are the compliments that appeared most often. What doesn't show up uh, is I love you. Because they'll say, well, my parents would never say that. They will show it, but they will not say it. And really telling someone you love them isn't really a compliment. It's just the feeling of the heart, which is very important. Now, those of you who are engineers, please look at the chart. This graph reflects the realities of a healthy family. Typically, in a healthy family, you notice the purple column is the highest. 看到吗？一个健康家庭，看到这个紫色的这个bar，最高的紫色的。And that represents something called a positive identity. 这个呃表示是positive identity，positive identity，你们记得，positive正面的。认知自我认知自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯定自我肯
Six children. We did not practice the one child policy. <laughs> there were five boys and one girl. And my brother Sam was born first. Then my sister Margaret was born next. Margaret was the second. She was born in 1937. She lived to be six years of age. So she died in 1943. Then a most interesting thing happened. My mother had a baby in 1944. And there was a boy. <laughs> My mother had another baby in 1945. It was a boy. My mother had me in 1947. I was a boy. <laughs> what did my parents want? A girl. <laughs> and then they gave up. <laughs> they did not want to fill the United States with boys. <laughs> <laughs> but the three boys always knew our parents would have been happier if we were girls. <laughs> actually, that's a strange thought to walk around with. <laughs> And it was a thought that all of us had, even when we were three, four, or five years of age. Now, it did not ruin my life. It takes a lot to ruin a boy's life. <laughs> I think it's easier to ruin a girl's life. <laughs> but I think I would have been a little bit happier if our parents had never told us <laughs> that they would have preferred to have had a girl. <laughs> because what a positive identity is really has two parts to it. And this is really worth thinking about when it comes to your child. Do you have a child? Did you want a girl? <laughs> Only after the boy. <laughs> Did you translate that? This is what every child wants to hear. The person you are is the person I want you to be. You are not a disappointment to me. Here's the second thing. I like you. Two parts to it. Who you are this is what I want you to be. And I like you. 
That's what a positive identity is. 那个就是所谓的积极、自我肯定、自我认定。Now it does not mean that you don't tell your child that they have weaknesses they need to correct. 这并不表示说你不纠正你孩，你不告诉你孩子一些他们做错的事情，他会放在缺点。But but it's simply making sure the child understands who they are is not a disappointment. 其实就很简单，让你孩子知道说他们的本质，他们是谁，呃，没有让你失望。Now, actually, the same thing we do with children, we should actually do with one another. 呃，实际上呢，我们对我们孩子做的这些呢，也应该是我们彼此互相，我们的关系里面，我们应该这样有的态度。Now notice that orange or whatever that color is, the second highest column. Orange. 的第二个 orange 啊，橘色的，橘色的这个 bar， 这个。That represents high affection. 这个表示是。Uh, high affection, 关爱 <coughs> In a healthy family, the family displays affection to each other. 在一个健康家庭里面呢，家庭成员彼此表达对对方的关爱 It could be as simple as, as cooking a person's favorite meal. 也可以是你为对方煮了一顿他最喜欢吃的晚餐。Or as simple as just smiling at the person. 甚至就是一个对对方的微笑。Or even better to simply say the words, "I love you." 甚至于就简单的说，我爱你。But a healthy family makes sure that every member knows they're enjoyed. 所以呢，在一个健康家庭里面呢，确定说每一个人呢，都知道说他们是被对方所喜爱的。And then finally, in a healthy family, how well a person performs or how well they do is important, but not as important as those other two things. 啊，在另外一个呢，就是说这个人呢，他的表现各方面的表现。虽然重要，但是没有另外两个因素重要。Now, why is it important to make sure that performance or doing your best is not the most important of those three things? 啊、uh, ，是非常重要。我们要知道说，说我们的表现，而且是我们的努力的。得到最好的表现，最好的成果，并不如其他的两个因素来的重要。One of the, I actually retired from the graduate school or seminary I taught at, so I'm a retiree. Since when? Was it forty years? Forty years. 四十年。And whenever I ask, are there any questions? 我每次问有没有问题。I have learned something <laughs> over those 40 years. You have thousands of questions, but you will not put up your arm to ask one. You're going to ask a question. Are you Chinese? American born Chinese, Chinese. born in the United States. Oh, well, then you don't count. <laughs> yes. What's your question? What is your name? I'm Patty. 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 My question is, how much do you take a child's temperament into um, into this? I mean, in in terms of the fact that there are some children. Who very easily feel loved, and there are some children, because of their temperament, don't feel loved, or it takes a lot for them to feel loved. Uh, 到底你是如何 ？You said it in Mandarin. You said it in Mandarin as well. I don't speak Mandarin. Okay. 就是有些孩子个性他们个性不一样，呃，有的孩子很容易一下就。
情绪很高，有的孩子就是比较比较呃比较温和，不容易表达情绪。那到底你是要怎么样？就是对这些不同的孩子 ，What do you mean? How much you pay? Oh no no.、Uh, How much you? The child's temperament. Uh huh. Tem- personality. Personality. How about your bad little girl? Yeah. There are some children that are more sensitive than others, and some children very easily feel love,、uh-huh. and other children. Feel very negative, but they don't think. Okay, so how to handle it? Because every child is different. Some children are very easy to feel love. 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 Some Here's the disadvantage of the one-child policy. This is a one-child policy. You will have theoretically one child. Theoretically, you have only one child. And sooner or later, that child will be a disappointment. Uh, sooner, this child will be a disappointment. And then you will say. I am an imperfect parent. Then you will say, "I am an imperfect parent." But if you had two children, but if you had two children, you would have two disappointments. You would have two disappointments. But the second child will be very much different than the first child. The second child will be very much different than the first child. But they'll still disappoint you in some area. Then they will, in some areas, 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 实际上呢，有的时候，嗯，跟这个做父母的怎么样教养他们是没有什么太大关系。Um, one thing I meant was、um, there are some children that will tell you what they think you want to hear. Like we have one child. If I ask that child if he or she were angry, she'd say no. He or she would say no. If I ask another child if he or she were angry, that that child would say yes. Yeah, I actually. 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 Yeah, I
But your best efforts will not guarantee they will be as healthy as you want. Great question. When my daughter was 14, she and I were having a very loud argument in the kitchen. And she can argue really, really well. <laughs> she has a super quick mind. <laughs> and she knew how to make my wife Carol angry, and she knew how to get me angry. <laughs> And she liked doing that. <laughs> and she was getting me angry. <laughs> and I have written books on this subject. <laughs> and I finally got so angry, I started to yell and I walked towards her. Now she is quite short. And she looked at me like this. And she said, You're going to hit me, aren't you? <laughs> now she knew I wasn't going to hit her. But she knew that would make me even more angry that she thought that I would hit her. She knew she would hit her. You, she knew you wouldn't hit her. She right? knew I wouldn't hit her, but she went, you're going to hit me, aren't you? She knew I wouldn't hit her, but she went, you're going to hit me, aren't you? And here's the thought I had. All of my books, <laughs> all of my seminar material, it's useless. <laughs> Children are much more clever <laughs> and sometimes nastier mean oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> then any book can help Here's the encouraging word. She has four children. You will never do a perfect job with them. That's actually helpful. It's helpful to realize you'll never be a perfect parent. But you can you can consistently like them and be consistent with them. But you'll never be able to solve everything that's going on up in their hands. <laughs> Life and God has to take care of that. Great question. A second question. Yes. Oh, are, are you from China? No. <laughs> <laughs> or are you born here? No. no. Oh, good. Okay. 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 Oh, my question is, can you say it in Mandarin? 
I'll yeah, talk she English is. first and then I'll say okay. 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 Um, You talked about performance and how it's not as important as the other two, but um, how does performance fit in in, in, in a healthy family? Very important question. The two things called a positive identity and affection create the atmosphere in the home. That's the atmosphere, the air in the home. Um, the two things, the uh, positive identity and uh, affection, create affection. The, affection create, create the ears. The atmosphere or the air in the home. 就是一个正面的自我的认知和被关爱，这两个这两个因素呢，嗯，去呃，就是造成家里头的一种气氛。And the training of the child should take place in that atmosphere, using that air of affection and a positive identity. 呃，在一个家里面的训练，这个孩子呢是要在这样的环境里面，就是有关爱和让他们有一个正正面的自我认知的这样的环境里面来训练他们。For example, if a child is not paying close attention to their homework and not doing their homework well，比如说呢，这个孩子呢在家里他不做功，呃，就是不做功课，或是不不专心。the child should be disciplined for not doing that. So their iPhone should disappear. The iPad should disappear. The television should disappear. Extra money should disappear. But affection should never disappear. Because affection should never be connected to a child's performance. Because a huge psychological problem results. Uh, um, actually, a very significant psychological problem results. A huge, huge, big, a huge, big, big, big. Okay, big. Big. Okay, big. Okay, big. And the problem is the child begins to believe that what they do controls the parent's love. 如果不是你持续的关爱他们，把这个关爱不关爱能够跟他们的表现连在一起的话呢，他们呢就会这些孩子会把他们的表现就变成了一个控制父母的一个工具。And if the parent withholds love all through the growing up years of the child，这个做父母的呢，就是在他这个成长的过程里面呢，the young person leaves the home. The, the child becomes a young person, they leave the home, go to the university, get married. When they get married, they won't know how to freely accept love and affection. They won't know how to accept it. 当他们慢慢长大，如果说你的关爱是跟他们的表现连接在一起，是基于他们的表现来决定是不是怎么样的关爱他们的话，他们慢慢一步一步的长大，到了去上学，然后以后结婚生孩子，他们很难在这个生长
的关系里面呢，常常有一个问题，就是说他们不知道怎么样能够放松心情，把自己放松来，紧紧的就是接受对方对他们的关怀。And that creates relational problems for them as adults. 这个呢，就造成他们以后在成长过程里面，在做成人跟嗯。Um, Now here's a profound thought right before you eat food. You ready for this deep thought? You ready? Both of you. Are you ready? The last two in the last row, are you ready for the deep thought? You ready? Okay, they're ready. You ready? I want to make sure you're all prepared. Love is always a gift. It can never be earned. It sounds like a simple thought. But it's one of the most important psychological truths there is. 听起来是很简单一个道理，但是呢，是一个非常深也非常重要的呃，这个呃、嗯，精神上面的事实。Love is a gift. 爱是一个礼物。When two people love each other, 当两个人彼此相爱 ，they give the love as a gift. 他们。对对方表达的爱也是给对方一个礼物。Do they start out the romance this way? 他们开始呃彼此相爱的时候是这样开始的吗 ？How much do I need to pay you to love me? 我要付你多少你才能够爱我 ？If you ask that question, you would be despised. 如果你要问这个问题的话，是你是实际上在这关系上是因为你是已经被欺骗。But children who have their performance connected to their parents' affection actually end up confused about one of the simplest truths in life. 如果呢，在孩子在生长的环境里面，他们的体验是他们的表现，呃，能够影响他们如何被爱的话，是在他们这是一生里面，他们最大生命里面最重要一件事情，爱这个事情有最重最最大的误解。And we could spend the next five days talking about that statement, and it would be worth the conversation. We can spend the next five days talking about that statement, and it would be worth the conversation. We can spend the next five days talking about that statement, and it would be worth the conversation. We can spend the next five days talking about that statement, and it would be worth the conversation. We can spend the next five days talking about that statement, and it would be worth the conversation. We can spend the next five days talking about that statement, and it would be worth the conversation. We can spend the next five days talking about that statement, and it would be worth the conversation. We can spend the next five days talking about that statement, And I taught a very difficult subject at the seminary, and it's the Hebrew language. Oh, uh, I was in the seminary teaching a very difficult subject, which is the Hebrew language. Very difficult course. Very, very difficult course. People would fail that course. 大部分的人会会呃，没有通过。They would get good grades in all their other courses, then they would take my course. 他们先去修一些全部其他的课，拿到很好的成绩，然后他们来修我这个希伯来文。And they would get Bs. 他们能拿到 B, C, C, or E, F. Oh, or is it fail? F is just a fail, just a mail go. I have a Chinese American woman in my class. 我在呃我的班上有一个呃。Half of our students were Chinese Americans. 一半我班上一半学生都是华裔美人。Very intelligent. 非常非常的有天分，非常聪明。Very hardworking. 工呃非常努力。And I gave her a B. I gave her a B. She was upset. 
<laughs> she said, I never got a B in my life. <laughs> well, I said, this is good for you then. <laughs> it is very good for you. <laughs> she said, I cannot take this bee home to my husband. <laughs> I cannot tell my parents. And I thought, don't tell them. <laughs> And don't tell your husband. <laughs> she said, what can I do to change my B? <laughs> I cannot get a B. <laughs> and I said, the more you talk, the more certain it is that I will not change that B. <laughs> she left the classroom not very happy. Uh, sorry, just ignore it. It's just some jungle song. <laughs> <laughs> Can you shoot that? <laughs> I can, but you stop. Can you stop? Is that a phone? Yeah. yeah. Wow, it stopped. Good. Okay. Two weeks later, she came back. She said, What can I do to change my meaning? <laughs> Now remember, she is in a Christian graduate school. Um, She's not in a secular school. So there's something more going on in a Christian school than just getting grades. So from my perspective, I wanted to communicate to her that failing in something is all right. Not getting A's all the time is all right. At least in the United States, it's all right. You will survive. <laughs> well, the next semester she got a C. <laughs> and she did not care. <laughs> because she realized those grades were not the most important thing in her life. And she's a very good friend of mine now. And her husband likes me too. I never met her parents, so I have no idea. But in a healthy system, how you perform is important. But it's never the most important thing. That doesn't determine your value as a person, how well you perform. 
But also there's a second thing about Hebrew class. It's a very difficult language to understand. It's not as bad as Mandarin. <laughs> Mandarin's worse. <laughs> Mandarin's worse. But Hebrew is very difficult. And the students will get very nervous because they won't understand it. And have you ever noticed the more nervous a student gets, the dumber they get? <laughs> have you ever noticed that about yourself? The more nervous you get, the more dumb you get. And I realize that part of my responsibility as a teacher was to keep them from getting nervous. So I would tell jokes. I would smile a lot. I would make sure they understood I liked them. Because what I wanted to do was keep them from getting nervous. Because the more nervous they got, the worse they would do. That's the principle of a healthy home. If you have a home where the child feels safe, and loved, they won't be as nervous when it comes to school. They'll be able to think more clearly. Their brain will actually work better. And, and that's a proven reality of research. The more relaxed the person, the better the brain works. If the home is built around, you got to get it right, you got to get it right, you got to get it right, don't make any mistakes. The child will try to get it right. And may get it right. But they will be in pain all the time they're trying to get it right. Here's a standard question that I have used with Chinese families in the mainland. A standard question of Chinese? Um, uh, when I would be talking to Chinese families mm -hmm. in China. The question they ask or the question I would ask. Okay, okay. So, 我, 我常常, uh, 在我, uh, 对这个中国人的家庭里面呢, and we would have given them a test which is actually in here on how they were raised. And if they would score as coming from a healthy family, I would ask them this question. When you did not do as well in school as you should have, did you still, still feel loved? Feel loved by your parents. 
。如果你在学校的成绩呢表现的没有预期的好的话，你是不是还觉得被你的父母所爱 ？And here's how they would answer. 这是一些我得到答案。Of course. 当然了。They loved me. 他们爱我。Who I was was more important than what I did. 我是谁？我这个人的本质比我的表现要重要。They loved me. 他们很爱我。I never doubted that. I never doubted that. I never doubted. I never doubted that. 从来不怀疑。Yeah. Now, in an unhealthy home, 在一个不健康的家庭里面 ，the person would say， 这些人会说。If I did well, 如果做得好 ，my father would look at me. 我我父亲会看着我。If I didn't do well, 如果表现不好 ，he would ignore me for two months. 他会两个月都不理我。Now it's very interesting. 这是非常有趣的一件事。The father didn't smile at the young person whether they did well or not. 不管你是表现好还是不好，这个做父亲的从来没有微笑。In a healthy home, they smile. 在一个健康家庭里面，这父亲是会微笑。But when the child did not do well, 但当一个孩子表现不好的时候 ，the father would ignore the child for a month or two or three. 这个父亲居然会不止会这个孩子，不止一个月、两个月，甚至于三个月。What did the child think? 想这个孩子会想什么 ？What I do controls my father's love for me. 我的我我的表现呢，控制我父亲怎么样来看我，爱我。What I do controls my father's love for me. 我的行为。来，可以控制我父亲怎么样爱我。That's a horrible place to be. 这是一个非常非常糟糕的状况。So those are the three of the characteristics. 这是三个特征，健康家庭的特征。And here's a description of that kind of family. 这个是呃这样的家庭的一些形容。It's a peaceful, safe environment. And love and emotions match up. 呃，爱呢跟情绪是和谐一致的。What does that mean? 这什么意思 ？The emotions on a parent's face matches their words. 这个父母上面的表脸上的表情呢，跟他们的讲的话是一致的。If they say I love you, they say it with a smile. 如果他说我爱你，他们说的时候是面带微笑。If they say they're angry, they look angry. 他们在说我都，他们很生气的时候，他们的表情是很生气的。The emotions and words match up. 呃，这个情绪和他们所讲的话是一致的。But sometimes people from really healthy homes don't understand that there are many, many homes that are hurting. 从那个 Western Seminary 啊、uh, 退休了。And I taught a very difficult subject at the seminary, and it's the Hebrew language. 啊，啊，我在这个神学院教一个非常难教的课程，就是希伯来文。Very difficult course. 非常非常困难的一门课。People would fail that course. 大部分的人会会呃没有通过。They would get good grades in all their other courses, then they would take my course. 然后先去修一些全部其他的课，拿到很好的成绩，然后他们来修我这个希伯来文。And they would get Bs. 他们能拿到 B, C, C, D, E, F. 呃、uh, ，或者是 fail， F 就是 fail， 就是没有过。I had a Chinese American woman in my class. 我在呃我的班上有一个呃。Half of our students were Chinese Americans. 一半，我班上一半学生都是华裔美人。Very intelligent. 
Very hard working. And I gave her a B. She was upset. <laughs> she said, I never got a B in my life. <laughs> well, I said, this is good for you then. <laughs> it is very good for you. <laughs> she said, I cannot take this bee home to my husband. <laughs> I cannot tell my parents. And I thought, don't tell them. <laughs> And don't tell your husband. <laughs> she said, what can I do to change my B? <laughs> I cannot get a B. <laughs> and I said, the more you talk, the more certain it is that I will not change that B. <laughs> she left the classroom not very happy. Can you shoot that? <laughs> I can, but you stop. Can you stop? Is that a phone? Yeah. yeah. yeah wow, it stopped. Good. Okay. Two weeks later, she came back. She said, What can I do to change my meaning? <laughs> <laughs> Now remember, she is in a Christian graduate school. Um, She's not in a secular school. So there's something more going on in a Christian school than just getting grades. So from my perspective, I wanted to communicate to her that failing in something is all right. Not getting A's all the time is all right. At least in the United States, it's all right. You will survive. <laughs> well, the next semester she got a C. <laughs> and she did not care. <laughs> because she realized those grades were not the most important thing in her life. And she's a very good friend of mine now. And her husband likes me too. I never met her parents, so I have no idea. But in a healthy system, how you perform is important. But it's never the most important thing. 
，在一个健康的一个群体里面呢，你的表现非常是重要，但是不应该是最重要。That doesn't determine your value as a person, how well you perform. 那不能决定你这个人的价值。But also, there's a second thing about Hebrew class. Now, the second thing is in this Hebrew class. It's a very difficult language to understand. It's a very difficult language to understand. It's not as bad as Mandarin. <laughs> Mandarin's worse. <laughs> Mandarin's worse. The Chinese is the most difficult to understand. But Hebrew is very difficult. And the students will get very nervous because they won't understand it. And have you ever noticed the more nervous a student gets, the dumber they get? <laughs> 你们是不是有这样经验？你越紧张，然后你就越脑筋玻璃光。And I realized that part of my responsibility as a teacher was to keep them from getting nervous. 所以呢，我理解到我做一个老师的责任呢，就是能够帮助他们不要紧张。So I would tell jokes. I would smile a lot. I would make sure they understood I like them. Because what I wanted to do was keep them from getting nervous. Because the more nervous they got, the worse they would do. That's the principle of a healthy home. This is the same as in a healthy family. It's a very important rule. If you have a home where the child feels safe and loved, they won't be as nervous when it comes to school. If you give this child a home where he feels safe and loved, he won't be as nervous when it comes to school. They'll be able to think more clearly. Their brain will actually work better. And, and that's a proven reality of research. The more relaxed the person, the better the brain works. 这个呢是研究显示，事实是呃，你越轻松的状态之下，你的那个大脑运作越好。If the home is built around, you gotta get it right, you gotta get it right, you gotta get it right. Don't make any mistakes. 如果呢，这个家里面让他感受到说，你必须要做一切都是对的，一切都是好的，他们就会犯更多的错误。The child will try to get it right. 这个孩子呢，就会要试试很多方式要。And may get it right. But they will be in pain all the time. They're trying to get it right. Here's a standard question that I have used with Chinese families in the mainland. A standard question of Chinese. Uh, uh, when I will be talking to Chinese families mm -hmm. in China. The question they ask or the question? Uh, I would ask okay. the question. So, I will ask 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 the question. 我会在这这个从这个里面呢，这个教材里面呢，就是呃问一个问题，就是他们是怎么样，在一个怎么样的成长环境中长大的。And if they would score as coming from a healthy family, I would ask them this question. 如果他们那个作答答出来是他们是从一个健康家庭出来的，我会问他们一个问题。
when you did not do as well in school as you should have, did you still still feel loved? Feel loved by your parents. 如果你在学校的成绩呢表现的没有预期的好的话，你是不是还觉得被你的父母所爱？ And here's how they would answer. 这是一些不得到答案。Of course. 当然了。They loved me. 他们爱我。Who I was was more important than what I did. 我是谁，我这个人的本质比我的表现要重要。They loved me. 他们很爱我。I never doubted that. I never doubted that. I never doubted. That. I never doubted that. 从来不怀疑 Yeah. Now, in an unhealthy home, 在一个不健康的家庭里面 the person would say, 那些人会说 If I did well, 如果我做得好 my father would look at me. 我我父亲会看着我 If I didn't do well, 如果表现不好 He would ignore me for two months. Now it's very interesting. The father didn't smile at the young person whether they did well or not. In a healthy home, they smile. But when the child did not do well, then 当一个孩子表现不好的时候 ，the father would ignore the child for a month or two or three. 这个父亲居然会不理会这个孩子不止一个月、两个月，甚至于三个月。What did the child think? 想这个孩子会想什么 ？What I do controls my father's love for me. 我的我我的表现呢，控制我父亲怎么样来看我，爱我。What I do controls my father's love for me. 我的行为来可以控制我父亲怎么样爱我。That's a horrible place to be. 这是一个非常非常糟糕的状况。So those are the three of the characteristics. 这是三个特征。And here's a description of that kind of family. This is, uh, 这样的家庭的一些形容 It's a peaceful, safe environment. 平和安全的气氛 And love and emotions match up. 呃，爱呢跟情绪是和谐一致的 What does that mean? 这什么意思？ The emotions on a parent's face matches their words. 这个父母上面的表脸上的表情呢，跟他们的讲的话是一致的。If they say I love you, they say it with a smile. 如果他说我爱你，他们说的时候是面带微笑。If they say they're angry, they look angry. 他们在说我都，他们很生气的时候，他们的表情是很生气的。The emotions and words match up. 呃，这个情绪和他们所讲的话是一致的。But sometimes people from really healthy homes don't understand that there are many, many homes that are hurting. 呃，实际上呢，呃，就是在健康家庭里面，有时还是有一些呃，充满了伤害。So, uh, I, I understood I was supposed to stop at 6:15 and at 6:00. Thirty-five. What should I do? Uh, maybe we can just have dinner. We we'll just continue because the two sessions con connected. Yeah, yeah they're even. connected. Yeah, they're yeah. connected. So, yeah. um. But how? If all a child is, if a child is always loved, always loved, always loved, growing up, will that not make a selfish adult? 就是说，如果说一个孩子，就是说，只是一直在接受爱的话，他这样从小这样子接受爱，他会不会长大以后变成一个很自私的那个孩子呢 
And I would answer that with two or three different things. Loving a person is not the same as indulging the person. Part of loving a person is not only showing affection continually to the person, but also confronting the child. And setting up expectations for the child. And every once in a while, disciplining the child. So we're not talking about indulging the child. But actually loving the child, enjoying the child. When a child is loved in a healthy way, <coughs> the great majority of children love back in a healthy way over time. No, they'll simply love back. And they will assume that's how life works. You receive love and you give love. You receive love as a gift. When that child becomes an adult, that child will more likely be a good citizen of the country. Because that sense of love will lead them to be helpful to other people. But here's the great danger. If the child is trained to believe that you gain love by performance, when they become a married adult, they really won't know what to do with the gift of love within marriage. And they won't realize that the center of life is being loved and giving love. That, that's the center of existence. That's what life should be all about. So Which will then be self-defeating in, in their growth as an adult. And they won't be good citizens because they're assuming that they because they won't be good citizens because they will not spontaneously love other people, freely love other people. So the, what we're talking about has implications for the family and implications for politics. Now, 
So let's transition over to questions. Okay, so now we are going to say, uh, let me answer a question. The question is, how is the father, mother, and child in a good family? So the question is like this. So in the healthy family, what are the roles of the father, the mother, and the children? What are the roles of the father, the mother, and the children? What role should they play? What role should the father and the mother play? And the child. And the child. Well, the child should be a child. <laughs> that, that's the easy one. <laughs> and, and if you're a child, you should be a, a, um, a failure. <laughs> a failure. <laughs> Why? Because children don't do things right, they fail. Okay, so if a child, if you say you have a mistake, this is a child. This is a child. So here, here is what I would view as the Bible's view of those roles, and also psychologically, uh, what are what are psychologically healthy roles? So I would like to give you the example of what is wrong. 是圣经所提出来的这个不同的父母、孩子的角色，同样也是从那个心理学来说是健康的的一个角色。So let, let's start out that for a husband and wife, the first part of their roles is to be a cooperative partner with the other. Spouse. So, if I want to do something, I need to be able to cooperate with my wife. Yes. 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 The the first responsibility of, of the husband and wife is they need to cooperate with each other. So, 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 then the second part of the job description is that as a husband and wife, I need to communicate regularly to my spouse four things. So, 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 Second thing is, what am I sad about? The other thing is, what am I sad about? The other thing is, what am I sad about? The other thing is, what am I sad about? The other thing is, what am I sad about? The other thing is, what am I sad about? The other thing is, what am I sad about? The other thing is, what am I sad about? The other thing is, what am I sad about? The other thing is, what am I sad about? The other thing is, what am I sad about? The other thing is, what am I sad about? The other thing is, what am I sad about? The other thing is, what am I sad about? The other thing is, what am I sad about? The other thing is, if you make it optional, you will mess up your marriage. If you say you do this, it's like saying you don't want to do this or do this, it's not good. Then your family will have a big impact on the marriage. The third thing I must communicate is what hurts me, what has hurt me. The fourth thing I must communicate is what hurts me, what has hurt me. The fifth thing I must communicate is what hurts me, what has hurt me. The sixth thing I must communicate is what hurts me, what has hurt me. And the fourth thing, as a husband or a wife, what do I want without demanding it? Okay, so the fourth one, that is, I want something. I don't want to ask for something. I want something. That's the the basic part for both partners. So these four points, that is, 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 now here's where gender differences come in. Now, 当然的说，夫妻男女是有别的了啊. 
And it's very interesting that the Bible takes into account gender differences. Now, have you noticed that men and women are different? <laughs> have you noticed that? Say yes. <laughs> Thank you. Now, have you noticed men and women are different? Oh, good. Yes. Have you noticed men and women are different? Yes. Their brains are constructed differently. Men and women have the same abilities within their brain, but they often use them differently. And this is going to sound terrible, but it's largely true. And I think I can show you a lot of scientific research that shows the truth of what I'm about to say. I have to take a swallow of my drink to be courageous. Frequently, women will feel before they think. <laughs> That's why I took my drink. <laughs> now the second problem. <laughs> Men will frequently think before they feel. Now, there is a wonderful book in English that I'm sure has been translated into Chinese. It's by a medical doctor researcher over in San Francisco. A woman. And the, she has written two books. One is called The Female Brain, which is the first one she wrote. And the second is called the male brain. And those two books are books that are great reading. And I've just summarized a couple chapters in those books by that very simple statement. Now, the statement was, women will frequently feel before they think. So, or even better, put it this way. Women will feel and think at the same time. <laughs> and men will think. And feel later. If the husband, now here's the husband's role. 
，所以现在提到的这个夫妻所扮演的角色。The husband's role is to find out what his wife feels and be in sympathy with it. So, this man's role, the 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 man's role, Role is to find out what the husband thinks. 反过来说的话，做太太的话，就想他想要了解他先生的思维是怎么样。Now this sounds very strange. 那这样讲出来的话，好像很奇怪，对不对 ？But there is a very interesting phenomenon. 可是这个很有趣的一个一个事情哦。Often wives. Will get angry with their husbands for not doing things which are totally obvious to them. 就说怎么样？那这个意思，我意思是说，这个很多太太啊，常常给先生生气，就说这个先生为什么这样做什么事情？就说好像没有道理的，对我来说没有感觉。我说我讲出来，完全不了解。And they will think if he could, he should be able to feel what I'm feeling right now and do something. This woman said, "I should be able to feel what I'm feeling right now and do something." Then, 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 While the wife should simply say, "So you not, you the husband should say, 'Will you help me with the dishes?'" 如果说他就是说，哎，你洗碗吧。I need help with the dishes. 我请我需要替他洗碗。But what will happen first is he should be able to feel my need. 可是他为什么怎么说呢？他第一步就说，就想到。他应该这个这个男的应该了解我的需要什么样，他能感受到我的需要什么如此。Because if there were a thousand women in this house, all one thousand women would be helping me. 他就说，如果这边我们家里一千个女的话，就一千个女的都给他帮我洗碗。All one thousand would be helping me. But this one man is not helping me. So, so, why is this? If you say that all the women can help me, why is this man not helping me? Why is this man not helping me? And that's where gender differences come in. So, this is man and woman difference. The man will not be feeling what those one thousand women would be feeling. So, this man is saying that. 很难可以想象的，他可以了解那个一千个女的，她的感受是什么。All he wants to know is give me something to think, like you need help. 他就直接说 ，OK， 你你告诉我嘛，你需要什么样吗 ？Don't expect me to read your mind. 他就说，哎，你不应该以为我就可以就说猜你现在心里面想什么。Now here's where that book, the female brain and the male brain, is really fascinating. So, 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 so,
。那当然的说，不然才一概而论，所有的大的实验，所有的这个样子。But these two books do an excellent argument about where a woman's thinking starts and feeling sympathy starts, and where a man's thinking starts. 所以这个整个书提出来给我们小的的话，就说怎么样，男的怎么开始想，怎么思想，女的怎么样感受。So the first rule of the husband's responsibility is to develop sympathy for his wife. 所以第一个男的需要做的话，就是说需要能够同情，能感受他的太太的需要。Then the first rule for the wife. Is to make sure that she respectfully communicates her thinking and feelings to her husband. 反过来说的话，女的需要做什么事情呢？她需要能够能够就是说啊、呃，表达她的心里面的需要，她的感受。There is a fascinating book of the Bible called Ephesians. 那圣经里面有本书叫做《以弗所书》，蛮有意思。And it talks about the relationships of husbands and wives. 那他讲到夫妻的关系。And it has a basic rule for husbands and wives that's fascinating. 他那个有个基本的一个规则给先生跟太太。And、uh, the rule for the husband is husband. Sympathetically love your wife. He is like this. He says, "Men, husbands, you must love your wives." And the rule for the wife is to respect your husband. Now, he tells you, "Woman, you must love your husband." And it is odd that the Bible says, "Love your husband." And it is odd that the Bible says, "Love your husband." And it is odd that it's asking. Two very different things. That the Bible says, "What they ask the husband and wife, the demand is different." Why? 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 就说呢，这两个不同的系统的话，都是来处理这个感感情的。There is one system on the circumference of the brain that feels sympathy. 就说我们头脑里面这个头旁边的一块的话，就是说会处理这个这个同在同情心这一方面。And there is another system in the center of the brain. That analyzes emotions without necessarily feeling them. 那同时的话，另外在头脑中间一块的话，来分析这些感情，可是不见得是可以感受那感情。This is called the TPJ system, the one in the center. 这中间的 TPJ 系统吧。Then the one outside is called the mirror neuron system. The mirror, mirror neurons. 就说这个旁边这一块的话，就是说，好像是有一个这个这个呃 ，turn 的做 mirror neuron， 就说这个好像是一个镜子一样的那个呃神经细胞。Now, the mirror neuron system feels sympathy with other people. 那这个 mirror neuron 啊，就是说可以感受到别人的这个个感受。The TPJ system analyzes the emotions of other people. That the TPJ system, 的话，主要是分析别人的感受或者他的那个那个感情怎么样。And this is what researchers all over the world found. 那这个是全世界一些搞这个头脑的这个科学的科学家他们发发现的。Let me ask Jeff. Okay, 我们今天问问 Jeff. Jeff, answer this question. Where do you think men start in the use of their brain? Do they start with the mirror neuron system? Now, th this is what the research says, and let, let's you tell me. There's two systems. One system that encircles the brain that creates sympathy. 
There is, then there is another system in the center of the brain that analyzes emotions. Where do men prefer, which system do men prefer to use and start with? I don't know much about your science. But you don't need to know anything. You're a man. But oh. I know that men is tend to be more logical. Or emotionless. Emotionless, yeah. 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 Well, so let's leave logic out. So he has said probably they would start out with a system in the center, the, the, okay. the TPJ. The research has also said where where do you think women prefer to start? In the circle or in the center? Mirror, mirror, mirror. mirror neurons. Okay. Now here's the interesting thing. The book, those two books, recommend that men develop, which they can because they have it, their ability to sympathize. And, and the book recommends that women work on developing the ability to analyze without being affected by emotions. And it's quite striking that in the Bible, the emphasis is more on men developing the ability to sympathize with their wife and their children. And the emphasis in the Bible is that women make a point of showing respect for their husband. Now, here's my observation. If you want to open a woman's heart, be a man of sympathy. If you want to open a man's heart, be a woman of respect. Now, the lady over, oh, do you have a question? Oh, everybody does perfectly well before they get married. <laughs> everybody is perfect when they're in romance. <laughs> and then you know what happens? Stress occurs. Stress. Okay. After you get married, stress occurs. And you know what happens under stress? People go right back to how they were raised. So And they respond from the habits that were developed in how they were raised. 
，所以他们的反应的话，就是说，在他们原生家庭里面怎么教导他，他们都是无法反应。Because under stress, people go back to the habits. 因为在这个压力以下的话，我们就是回到我们这个习惯。Instead, all of us have the obligation to learn new skills. 可是我们每一个人都有这个责任，要学习新的这个呃新的一些办法，能够这样说啊。So let me finish up the job description. 所以我现在还谈到这个夫妻的。那个、那个，他们的工，这个他们那个职、职、职、职职是怎么样啊 ？The husband is to lead the family in making sympathetic decisions for the family. 所以，一个男的需要做的什么样呢？就是说，他领导这个家庭，用的办法呢，就是从那个感情、用的爱心这个上面来做。And the wife is to be a great and wise helper in that decision-making process. 那那个太太的话，就是说在这个决定当中啊，做这这个决定当中，能够做一个有智慧的一个帮手。Enough on that question. Next question. Next question. Okay. 他们说的不同性格的父母会不,不同会不会影响一个呃呃良好的家庭 ？So people of different personalities, say husband and wife, couples with different personalities, um, would they sort of like affect the the upbringing of the children or the character of the family? Um. Normally, people who are the same don't get married. Okay. 首先是一个基本的一个啊假设，一个基本的常看见的，就是说两个先生太太如果说个性完全是一样的话，不会结婚的。Because somebody exact you will drive you crazy. 因为如果说一个人像你一样的话呢，你是受不了。I married my wife Carol because she wasn't like me. 那我跟我太太结婚了，她跟我不一样。嗯 ，OK， 所以就记得这一点哦。You should answer. So that can either be a strength or a curse. 那这样来讲，当然来说，不同个性的话，可能是一个长处。可能是一个这个缺点。Because most likely you married a person unlike yourself. 因为最主要的说，你的配偶的话跟你是不一样的。Because first of all, hopefully you married somebody of the opposite gender. 是的。第一个，希望你这个这个是那个跟你不同性别的结婚了啊。If you married the same gender, you made a basic mistake. <laughs> But if you married somebody of the opposite gender, most likely they're different. So if you get with the opposite gender, the opposite gender, the opposite gender, and then secondly, people tend to marry others who have. Strengths they don't have. 另外一点的话，就是说找配偶的时候，常常会找一个，他有些长处是我没有的。One of the reasons that I married my wife Carol is she can tell me exactly what she thinks. 那我的太太可以跟我说，我她的她要做什么事情，她她想什么事情。I can't do that. It takes me weeks to figure out what I think. But she can simply say, "This is what I think. That's the way it is." Now, because that woman who yeah, she said, "I'm doing this way, doing this way." And I love that. Now, I really like that. I really like that. It's hard enough for me to sit around thinking about trying to figure out what I think. 
without trying to figure out what she thinks. That's <laughs> now, here's where the strengths come in. If I sympathetically understand my wife, her strengths will become available for me. If she gives me the impression that she respects me, my strengths will become available to her. In a good business, you manage people according to their strengths, not their weaknesses. So in our family, my wife pays the bills. So if I pay the bills, my wife pays the bills. If I pay the bills, my wife pays the bills. If I pay the bills, my wife pays the bills. If I pay the bills, my wife pays the bills. If I pay the bills, my wife pays the bills. If I pay the bills, my wife pays the bills. If I pay the bills, my wife pays the bills. If I pay the bills, my wife pays the bills. If I pay the bills, my wife pays the bills. If I pay the bills, my wife pays the Growing up, when one of our children had to be confronted and talked to, now if we say that in our family, when the child is growing up, if the child needs to be taught, 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 because quite frankly, I did a much better job. That's my strength. She has a different strength. Both are important. But without sympathy occurring, and respect, those differences in personality and skills won't be used. One of the Hebrew words for a wife is actually business partner. One of the words is beloved. One of the words is friend. One of the words is sister or brother, like your sisters and brothers in the family. And one of the words is a business partner. And all of those are aspects of marriage. But every business partner is different. Differences should be used as strengths. So it is all but they'll only be used as strengths if there's a they'll only be used if there's affection and sympathy at the heart of the marriage. Now, 可是最主要一点的话，就是说，在原则以下，就是说，在一个爱的环境底下，在一个就是说能够共同来了解的一个以下。Every day, those four things of what are you happy about, sad about, what hurts you, and what do you want, every day should be shared. So, it takes only five or ten minutes to share those things. 
他可能需要就是几分钟就可以来大家大大家沟通这个事情。The husband will develop sympathy. 那将来讲的话，先生会能够多点了解太太，可以就是说体谅，可以感感觉他们的感情是怎么样。The wife will develop understanding. 那太太同样的话，也可以了解多点了解先生。And both of them will develop a more effective partnership. 那将来讲的话，就先生跟太太可以就更有效的变成一个，就是说一个伙伴。Next question. Okay, next question. Next question is in English. How do we teach the only child or only child? Ah,、uh, okay. Now, how do we teach an only child? An only child. Second part is this, this: my family has two children. My daughter is older by eight years, and older eight years than my son. They seem to be like two only children, only child, only child. Okay. So they can get along well with each other. They don't get along. They don't get well along with each other. As a father, what can I do to make them you know, work together better, peaceful with each other? <laughs> so if two only child, yeah, each one is only child. I, I'm laughing because it's impossible. 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 Sometimes parents want to fix things that are very difficult or impossible. 有时候父母的话呢，希望能够解决一些问题，不过问题说很难，甚至是不可能的问题。I would say just make sure the two children treat each other with respect. 所以主要的话就是说，教好孩子，两个孩子。彼此之间能够尊互相尊敬，互相尊重。They don't kill each other. 不要就是打死哈，这个什么。But it's more important to see how the son and the daughter get along with their friends. 可能另外一点的话很重要一点，就是看看他们俩两个孩子，这个孩女儿跟儿子跟他们的朋友相处的是如何。Because the age gap between the two children is really huge. So, 主要原因是说两个孩子中间差八年嘛啊，所以时间是有个距离在里面的。So that it's more important to make sure that the friends the older child has, she respects and treats well. 所以最主要的说要了解这个 OK， 这个大女儿，她跟她朋友中间交往是如何，是彼此尊重呢？ And the friends the younger child has, the younger child treats them well. 同同样的话就说，这个小儿子，他跟他的朋友中间，你是不是就说可以一起来玩在一块？这个彼此尊重。But the most interesting thing will happen when these two children get older, when they're in their twenties and their thirties. 好，很有意思的事情的话，当孩子长大以后。当他们二三十岁的时候会怎么样 ？Most likely they'll become friends. 那那个时候呢？大概就大大多数的话，他们变得很好的朋友。Because the gap between them will lessen and disappear. 因为就是 in their twenties and thirties. 因为到那个时候，二三十岁的时候，他们中间的隔阂会越来越少，那年龄差别越来越少。And if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't worry about it. So, if you're that parent, don't 还有一个问题，如果说你写了什么问题的话，可以可以给我啊、哦
Well, I can continue on in my talk because there's an important point I want to make. But when am I supposed to end? Uh, okay. What time? Five more minutes, I think. Five more minutes. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, in five minutes, take a look at the screen. Okay. We're going to talk about the difficulty of raising children where performance is the most important thing in the family. When performance is the most important thing in the family, it tends to discourage children. So that the child will tend to lose trust in the parent. Because the child will withhold information about failing or not doing well. And they will not trust their parent to tell the parent their weaknesses, their failures, and where they need help. They'll be afraid of doing it. Or Put it another way, any performance-based system produces two things. First, people will always withhold information. Secondly, they will develop Lying. Withholding information and lying. So, so, when the most important thing in the world is that you do the right thing, and you can't do the right thing all the time, you're absolutely forced to either withhold information or lie. That's so in a performance-only family, trust is low among the, with the child. The child will not trust fully. So in a performance-based family, emotions are mismanaged. Because if the child is to be perfect, then the child has to fake being perfect. When it's angry, it has to look like it's not angry. When it's anxious and worried, it's got to look calm and in control. When it's bitter, it has to look happy. When it's bitter, it has to look happy. Because in a performance-based family, being angry, being bitter, and being anxious usually aren't permitted. But a healthy family will say, tell me when you're hurt. Tell me when you're angry. Tell me when you're anxious. And see how I can help.
And in a performance-based family, oftentimes they're poor at giving comfort. 那在一个如果说靠表现来得到爱的家庭的话，这关于这个安慰这一点的话，常常就很难做得到。The amazing thing about giving encouragement and comfort is that it opens up the heart to listen. 有一点很有意思的说，关于鼓励、关于安慰的话，就是打开一个小孩子的心。A person will listen when they're comforted and encouraged. Now, if we say this person gets comfort, gets encouragement, his heart is open, he is willing to listen, he is willing to accept. But if we say this person gets comfort, gets encouragement, his heart is open, he is willing to listen, he is willing to accept. But if they're not comforted and encouraged, then what you have to tell them about how they're supposed to improve will be Frightening in in a very real sense. Frightening. Hmm. If you say he has not received comfort, he has not received encouragement, you tell him that what he has done is very scary, very terrifying thing. Because you are telling them they failed. 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 And so, without the comfort and encouragement, they may not listen carefully to the advice you're giving. So, if they don't have this encouragement, they won't listen to the advice you're giving. So, if they don't have this encouragement, they won't listen to the advice you're giving. So, if they don't have this encouragement, they won't listen to the advice you're giving. So, if they don't have this encouragement, they won't listen to the advice you're giving. So, if they don't have this encouragement, they won't listen to the advice you're giving. And love is conditional. If you do what I want, I'll show you affection. If you don't do what I want, I'll withhold it. 那可是问题说，这个是有条件的爱。你这个，你听我的话，我答应你；你不过，你听我的话，那么就对不起了，我怪你。Okay. So really, here's the heart of a performance-based family. 那所以这个就是说，这个嗯。靠表现的那个的家庭的话，他们中心思想是怎么样 ？Love is earned. 这是爱是要赚回来的。And that is a psychologically destructive message. 那这个是在心理学来说是一个很坏的、一个很危险的一个概念。When a couple married marries in a healthy relationship. 就说在一个夫妻，如果说在一个好的关系里面。They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other the gift of love. They have already given each other And to continue to give love as a gift. That 继续的把这个爱送给对方 And in a very real sense, when you talk about love never being earned, you're stepping right into the heart of Christianity. 那当我们说爱是免这个是没有条件爱的话，我们就是可以这样说，我们也得到这圣经的中心思想 What makes <coughs> The Bible and Christianity, unique in this world, is a simple thought. 就说圣经跟基督教在这个这个世界来说，特别在哪里呢 ？God's love and affection for you will never be earned. 最主要、最有意思的一点的话呢，就是说神的爱不是说可以赚回来的。He enjoys you. He likes you. He wants to be with you. You bring a smile to his face. Because you give him a smile, like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a smile to a mother's face. Like a little baby brings a And the only way we can reject his love is to run away from it. 
我们怎么样呢？我们如果说拒绝他的爱的话，只能就说要逃跑，逃逃从这个从他面前逃要离开。Because it's never earned. 因为不是赚回来的。It's never deserved. 就是说，不是说我们我们得到这个是因为应该的。Our only responsibility is to receive it. 我们所所需要做的话就是接受而已。It's not not more complicated than that. 所以这么简单而已。And there is a wonderful verse that describes that love. 那在圣经里面有一个很有意思的一个很特别的一个经文是这样说。It says in Romans 5a. 就是说罗马书五章八节。But God demonstrates His own love towards us. 就是耶稣在我们还在罪人的时候。In that while we were sinners or people continually doing wrong, 就是我们在罪的时候呢 ，Christ died for us. 就是怎么样？耶稣就是为我们死了，所以神的爱在这边对我们显明了。I'll take this sentence apart piece by piece. 那我们把这个这个这句话的话来分析好了啊。It starts out by God saying. I recommend my love to you. You need to get to know my love. You need to get to know that love. 神的说，我要把我的爱介绍给你，因为你需要这个。And he's going around recommending that everybody should come to know his love. 他怎么样呢？他是全世界所有的人这样说，我要介绍给你，你认识我啊。He's like a very aggressive car salesman. But a car salesman is selling you something. That 当然是这个推销员是卖东西给你。God wants to give away something for free. 可神的话，他送你东西给你。His affection for you. 他的爱。And he says, why I'm recommending it is while you were doing wrong things, I had my son die. For you. 那我要介绍给你很重要一点的说，他说你在做不好的事情的时候，也不完美的时候，你表现不好的时候，我的儿子因为你死了。And he died for you as a substitute or as a person to accept the punishment that everybody in this world deserves because everybody in this world does wrong. 他怎么样呢？他说这个我的儿子代替。我们所有人的过犯，我们做不好的地方，他来承担。And he says that's why my love is so special. It's not based on you doing good things. 所以我的爱是特别的，因为不是说要你的表现是如何。It's simply based on who you are. 主要就是说你是谁而已。Let me explain. Explain that. How many of you have ever changed a diaper? So, from the middle, have you changed a diaper? Have you changed a diaper? Who has changed a diaper? You've never changed a diaper. You haven't changed a diaper. Oh, you have. Okay, good. You've have you ever changed a diaper? Sorry. Jeff, have you ever changed a diaper? You haven't. You you never have. You have. No. No. Oh. How sad. How could you know? When you change a diaper, you have a deep philosophic experience. 就说你换尿片的时候是很很有意思的一个，好像是很有哲理的一个一个一个经验。It is metaphysical in its importance. 就是说，好像是说一个，好像是那个哲学方面，或者说一个神学方面的一个经验。Changing a diaper is one of life's greatest experiences. 就是说，换尿片可以说在人生当中一个很重要的经历。Because when you change a diaper, you face an essential question. 因为你换尿片的时候。你这有个，面对一个很重要的问题 ，an issue of great philosophic importance， 就是说这些关于在我们哲学哲理方面来说很重要的一个问题
What is more important? What? <laughs> the baby or the mess in the diaper? So you got as well. Uh, am I losing you? <laughs> well, I think it's, really, it's a very difficult question to answer. Oh, it's profound. It's profound. You don't know where you're going. I know. That's the point. I don't want to know. So there's the baby. So it's the baby. There's a messy diaper. You have to decide. You have to decide. What's more important? My nose. What a piece of or that baby. You can walk away and say. I don't want to smell the mess. Or you could say that baby is more important than that mess. Have you had a baby? Okay. What's more important to you, the smell or the baby? The baby! You're like God. She's like God. She, God has decided that we are more important to Him than the mess we make. So, what we do is worse than a messy diaper. But God loves us. And is trying to rescue us by having his son die for all the messy things we have done. <laughs> so here's quite a question. So how do you become Christian? You accept the love that God has for you. So, it's very simple. Accept the love that God has for you. It's not based on your performance. It's not based on what you've done right. It's based on who you are to him. And to prove that, he's given a son to take away all the evil that people have ever done, so no one has to worry about the evil that they have done. So to be a Christian, you accept God's love, and you believe the fact that Jesus has already died for what you've done wrong. That he's been raised from the dead as, as proof that he was sent from God. And he lives in heaven to take care of everyone who will trust in him. Take care of them well forever. 
来呃处理我们一些的问题。It's been a joy talking to you. Today is a pleasure to meet you. You're very patient. Thank you.